The state health department recommended schools require masks for students under the age of 12 this fall since they cannot be vaccinated against COVID-19. And since it is not a mandate yet, it is leaving district leaders with a tough choice to make with just a few weeks until the start of a new school year. LAX 18's Michael Burke has more on how some school leaders are starting now to look ahead. It's our big story at five. A recommendation is not a mandate. And for now, that's how several area school districts will treat the latest recommendation from the state health department as it pertains to unvaccinated students and mask wearing in the fall. We want to make masks optional, but we're going to see how things progress uh, between now and the start of school. Uh, we want to make that decision uh, after a lot of thought. Mr. Livingood and the Clark County School District aren't alone. At Bourbon County, Superintendent Amy Baker tells LEX 18 that her district is looking over updated guidance and hopes to make a decision in the next few days. Up the road in Scott County, the current policy is listed on the website in accordance with the governor's June 11th policy. However, masks remain an option for those families who feel more comfortable having their children in them. The district will also reserve the right to change the policy if new recommendations are made before the school year begins. Our decisions impact children, and so we have to think through that, the responsibility to their safety, but then also their emotional, social health and growing, um, you know, and, and so it's a bigger picture than just fighting off a germ sometimes. But here's where it gets tricky. What if you begin the year without masks and a district experiences a spike in cases? Balancing the, that line between uh, safety that the masks provide and then you know, discomfort and fear that they may generate. So that's that's the balance that we have to think through. At least until someone from above makes the decision for everyone. Until that happens, the juggling act will continue. In Clark County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.